Neverland. I was waiting for the beat. I was waiting for the beat. Can I go now? Am I on? Yeah. Bad guy here. Superman. Right there. Oh, 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 look. Oh, wait, I'll bring you closer. Oh, look at that. Superman. Put it up there for a reason. Oh, Led Zeppelin poster. Because Led Zeppelin is awesome. Well, they are. <sighs> Bad guy here. I'm sitting here pretentious-like because I'm having myself an espresso at 20 to 4 in the morning, 10 to 4 in the morning. Cheers to ya. Uh, pink, uh, wow, that's actually kind of hot. I just took it out of the microwave. Pinky's sort of up, maybe middle? Middle pinky finger, middle finger, middle pinky finger. Cheers. Ah. Rant to own part. Ten. Thank you guys so much for making this possible. This is awesome. Incredible. I love doing this. This is awesome. It's just awesome. I also feel so pretentious too because on my Xbox 360, because I'm archaic, remember, I'm very behind the times. Proudly. I'm going to turn this around. And on, on the YouTube app of my Xbox 360, I found this white screen app, so it kind of sort of backlights my face. I'm going to turn you right around. Don't mind the mess. There it is. That's all you see. White screen. That's how dedicated I am to, you know, make a video. Oh. Man, I love gimmicks. Here it is. This is where it said... Parents, get your kids out of the room. If there's any kids watching this, shut it off. This would be the time. You have five seconds. All right. Wow. Rant to fucking own part 10. Are you fucking kidding me? Man, this is awesome. I love doing this. I love doing this. I love bitching at a camera. I love doing this just specifically for my YouTube channel because, you know, you gotta be safe these days. You gotta be safe. There's a lot of people out there, they'll get offended by what you're about to fucking say. Don't get offended. Oh, God. Oh. Really? Grow a set of fucking balls. On this channel, I speak the truth. I talk straight to you. What you see with me is what you get. And I'm very proud of that. You know? Is that white screen helping at all I mean, I mean you can see my forehead and everything I'm, from my point of view i don't know i'm talking into lisa's tablet for fuck's sakes i mean i'm getting to that having a fresh cup of shut the fuck up and almost forward in the morning 4 a.m imagine that i just got off of work oh man that tastes good Kind of a weird night, though. Like, it really was. It was a really weird night. Normally, at a pizza place, you think the Fridays would be busy. Now, they are. Especially over supper. Man. They really are. But then it just drops off. It just gets dead. So then I'm left to clean, you know? But I like doing that, though. It keeps me, keeps me busy. It keeps the time flying by, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You know, makes time fly by. I want to talk a little bit about, like I said in my last video, actually, about dedication and loyalty. Just, just for a minute, if I may. And I may. Just, just for a minute. I'm getting really fucking sick and tired of being picked on. Just like I said in my last one. You know, 
before I get into this, hold on. I'm going to light myself a smoke and talk to you. Yeah, I'm just going to talk to you. Oh, at least this cat's freaking out. <laughs> just going to talk to you. I'm getting really sick and tired of being fucking picked on, man. And it's all based on output it's all based on output what I put my energy into now I'm not trying to say this as an egotistical fathead according to some you know I don't have an ego anymore anymore I killed that guy go back to my previous videos I've already explained that. I've already put that out there. It's based on output. It's based on what I do on a nightly basis. Now, it's not every night because hours have been cut back and it's that time of year where... And that's cool. It's that time of year where it happens and I don't complain, man. I've got shifts where shifts need to be. I don't complain. Output. I put so much fucking goddamn energy into what I do. You know, like, and I'm sitting back having a pretentious fucking cup is shut the fuck up at almost four in the morning you know what I mean like what normal person does that I mean you, you can't show me one normal person but one normal human being that would do that at four in the morning no matter what time zone you're in fucking crazy right I'm fucking nuts like how fucked up is that But lately, and this is my point, lately, especially doing it for the people that I do it for, I just don't feel to myself that my output is good enough. Now, and that's fine because I always beat myself up over small, incandescent, oh, there's a big word for you, can you spell that, can you spell that too? incandescent little things man like for me it's child's play because you get used to working so hard for so long maybe too long you know what I mean and for those of you out there that work that damn hard you know exactly what I'm talking about and believe me I respect and appreciate you for that because you take the time out of your busy day to watch little old me you know don't think you're not appreciated and don't think you're forgotten because you're not. That's, the, that's what this channel's for, man. Like, as far as I'm concerned. But I'm just the pizza guy. Huh? No, I'm not just the pizza guy. But that's my point. Your output, so much energy put into something that you fucking do. And I've been really pensive about this lately. Like, I've been really sitting back and, and thinking about it lately. I don't want to sound cliche, but it's kind of like, what's it all for? You know, like, why are you really doing what you do? What's it for? And that's what I've been thinking about, you know? The answer is, I don't know. I don't know. A long time ago, six years ago, in fact... Wow, time flies by, doesn't it, Neverland? Doesn't it? Six years ago, in fact, I was in a pretty serious relationship. You know, based on what I thought was based on morality, where you come from, you know, because I was with my junior high school sweetheart for a long fucking time. 
And since that was taken away from me, since she decided to be a fucking dumbass, I've stepped up my game, you know? If you go back to my previous videos, I've always said that too, like I'm so uptight and that affects somebody, you know? Singing for rock bands and back then and, you know, that was my life back then. I hope I'm not being too cryptic here, but, you know, it's hard to put into words. Like, it really fucking is. My life's based on feeling for myself. I'm just speaking for myself. But I'm sure a few of you out there can relate. Oh, I'm damn sure. Um... Work ethic is what it was for me. When, and I hate to use the word reset, but when you reset yourself and try to gain more morality for yourself, there's a price to that. There comes a price to it. And that's what this whole video is about. There's a price to the output. You know? Coming from the inner base of you being a human being, the output, what you put your energy in, what you put your, your thoughts in, what you're thinking about. I, I, I wouldn't use the word professionalism because that's too grandiose, you know what I mean? But kind of based on that, though, kind of swings that way, doesn't it? No, really doesn't it, though, because... See, my smoke went out. See, the problem is, though, I put myself in that position. Mm-hmm. I did, you know, I'm full well guilty for doing what I did. Taking myself out of a situation to further better myself or to further learn something for myself, to fucking come to terms with myself, you know? And I'm a pretty intense motherfucker. Like, I don't own a cell phone. Um, none of that bullshit. It's, to me, it's bullshit, because I'm very archaic, I guess. And I hate to use that word all the time, archaic, but traditional, old school. Because of who I was taught by. I was taught by my dad to be a gentleman, to be real. You understand what I'm fucking saying? Like, real. And... It blows my mind where I came from, you know? They're dealing with all the personalities that have helped me so much. To just stay grounded, to stay level, to stay modest. You know? And I'm very thankful for every single fucking one of them. Because I was put in positions back then in that relationship that I just talked about where I was put in that highlighted spot. And I, I hate to use the word highlighted, but fuck, I hate to use a lot of words apparently now. Put in that spot where, yeah, I can do incredible things and I'm amazing and <laughs> Superman, right? And that Superman thing's a joke now. Well, it has been a joke. And it's because of that person that I left. You know what I mean? Like, if you can't make fun of yourself, then I mean, come on. How humble are you? Like, take yourself down a notch. You know what I mean? That's fucked up. That is fucked. If that doesn't take yourself for a spin, like if it doesn't click up inside of your head for two seconds out of your busy day to think about yourself in a positive sense for a change, hey, then I can't help you. I can't fucking help you. We all fucking grow up. We all make it a point. We go about our daily lives and yada yada and all the space in between and 
Some of us stay the same, unfortunately. That's why I still call you Neverland. Because I've known some of you for the longest fucking time. You've always been there for me. And all I'm saying is, on me, on myself, I had to make a few changes. I had to make a few morality changes. I had to make sure that I was okay for myself. Because nobody else can change you but you. And if you let somebody change you, you've got some internal issues to deal with, my man. You know? Fuck that shit. Because that's pretentious. You're getting away from the whole fact that you're a living, breathing human being. And there's a price to that. There's a price to that. Wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up. You've got your whole life in front of you. Are you going to stay that way, that belligerent, that negative, your whole entire life? No. No. It's not worth it, man. Drop the ego. You know what I mean? There's more things out there in a positive sense that you can learn for yourself than hanging on to the past or dwelling on something. Hanging on to your ego. It's not worth it. Take it from one who knows right fucking here. I needed to change for the better because people took themselves out of the equation, you know? So the, the, the closest people to me that helped build me where I'm at, I didn't recognize what they did for me because of my ego, because of me, because I was arrogant. I was fucking up, and I really did fuck up. But those people came back around. Some of them did. Some of them, not all of them. And I can partially blame that old relationship I had. Because people will always take sides, right? But it's okay. But it was my it was my fault. It was it was my fuck up because I was being a fathead. You know? I was a rock star. Was. Mm. Singing for a great cover band, singing for a bunch of guys that I love to be around because, because, you know, and in my regular life, and I'm saying this with, you know, compliments to myself for popping that balloon and watching it fucking <laughs> all over the place. You know what I mean? I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I killed that person because the person I was was a piece of shit. I'm fucking telling you. But it takes somebody like that. That intense character, the intensity of that character. To look at themselves in a mirror and say, you know you're fucking up. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that because I know I needed it. And yeah, I beat myself up all the time. And yeah, bleh. But at least I got the fucking clue. At least I got the fucking hint where I needed to change a little bit. You know what I mean? Shows mentality. Right? No one fucking does. And you can't fucking tell me differently. None of you can. And God bless you for it. Because I'm sure you have your struggles and stuff, and you work really hard, and... Some of you have families out there. You know what I mean? Like... I don't have any kids of my own that I know of. <laughs> Fuck. My past life wasn't exactly exemplary. As soon as I sign that Sony contract, I'm sure they'll be fucking knocking at my door going, Oh, you, you, you know my mommy. That's a topic for another fucking video right there. <laughs> That's not what it's about, though. 
It's morality. It's the price you pay for doing what you do. It's showing mentality and owning up and fucking manning up or womaning up. You gotta be PC these days because you don't want to offend somebody because we live in a fucking pussy society now. You have to own up to your output. There's always a price to pay. There's always a price to pay. Always. I don't give a goddamn who the fuck you think you are. And a lot of the reason why I don't give a goddamn who you think you are is because I've been through the fucking ringer. So... It's humbling, you know? It really keeps you in tune with your own psyche, you know, up here. But here, too, at the same time. Your own emotional well-being. It keeps you in tune with you. You know? And I think that's what it's meant to be. I think that's what it should be. Because at the very base of yourself, you have to get back to your base before you can... You know what I mean? Have the output. Or give somebody something. Or do what you do for a job. Because without you, for yourself, you can't do that. But you have to be okay with you first. And that's what I mean. You understand what I'm fucking talking about? Like, you have to really grasp a hold of that idea. You have to mold it and shape it. In a safe way. Without ego. And be humbled about it. You know? And I'm glad I went through that. I'm glad I went through that. I'm glad I had those people that were there behind me, supporting me the whole fucking entire time that I was blind to, that were giving me advice, and I just kind of shrugged it off. Like, who the fuck do I think I am at that point? They've been through worse than I have, and I'm shrugging them off. That's not right, man. That's not right. And they've been there for you the whole time? You got some rethinking you have to do in a fucking mirror at your reflection when you're looking at yourself, claiming to be something that you're not. Without them, you're nothing. Nothing. Fucking nothing. You know? Embrace that. Learn from it. Expand your fucking mind from that. Because you'll need it. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers, you'll need that. They carry you. Some case in points, you carry them too. But that's not the point. The ones that really care about you, you've ignored. You know what I mean? And that's not right. Morally too, that is not fucking right. That is not right. I fucking grew up. I learned to embrace that. I learned to fucking go back to those who were there for me. And say thank you. I respect you for that. And you make it a point to fucking tell them. You make it a fucking point to tell them. You know why? Because they made you who you fucking are. Along the same path that you tried to make something out of yourself. Not without their help though. You have to recognize that. You better recognize, bitches. You know what I mean? Take the time to notice. Take the time out of your fucking stupid ass self to look over your shoulder and see them standing there. At least they're fucking standing there. And that's the problem these days. That's the pussy society we fucking live in. You know why it's a pussy society? Because... We're all sharing our nasties now. It's no longer about the old school positivity. No, no. We all share our nasties. No, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I've got a lot of nasties in me too. But I go about it a different way because of the experience from those, not to mention myself, because I have to give myself some credit in there. Can't beat myself up all the time. Neverland. Thanks for your comments. Inboxes, mostly. 
It's not about the nasties, see. But if you have enough mentality in yourself to see through the universe going towards a neg negativity sort of thing these days, if you have the fucking mind to cut through that fucking bullshit and look at yourself saying, I believe in myself, you're fine. You're fucking fine. You're fucking fine. If not, well, then you're one of them. I'm sorry. I'm not one of them. And I'm proud to say I never have been. And I'm crazy, man. I'm fucking, well, not really crazy, but I'm different. Right? Pinky's up. I'm different. Goes back to number nine. Right? Believe in yourself. You have it built within you to be something incredible. Fuck them for telling you that you can't do it. Because they failed themselves. Something to think about, Neverland. Something to think about, right? Don't get me fucking going, because I can go for 26 minutes and 39 seconds, right? I should never be doing this, man. I never thought I would be doing this. But listen, it's the price you pay that makes you grow up. Peace out. Thank you for watching me. Little old me. Thank you. Thanks for listening to me bitch about myself. Deuces. Remember, if you're working too hard, you're doing it wrong. Bad guy. Superman. Out! <laughs>